Right, and special congratulations to the award winners. Bob, of course, was up. Uh, I was here when Bob came to coach here. Congratulations to Chris and, of course, to Alan and, and Mary Beth, his lovely wife. And I'd also like to give a special thanks to Bruce Rasmussen. I, I've been gone now 20 years, and uh, it just never ceases to amaze me what a tremendous job he's done. He's not only a great Hall of Famer, he's a city of Omaha Hall of Famer, and the job that Bruce has done in this community and this university is second to none. So, how about a hand for the. Special thanks to um, not only the Jay Brackers, but all you boosters, and, and uh, these type of events happen a lot at Creighton, the Boosters Club, and, and the people in this community that support Creighton are asked to do so much. And, and the longer that I'm going, I know we have a ton of coaches in here, ex-coaches, -co present players, ex-players. And you present players I would, and athletes, I would tell you that the older you get and the longer you're going, you'll realize how much the Jay Backers and the people in this town do behind the scenes that you won't appreciate till you're, till you're probably long gone and come back to have great events like we get to come back to tonight. So. Uh, special thanks to all you people that make this department, this university so good that don't work at Creighton on a daily basis. Um, it's such an honor tonight to uh, to present Alan Benison to the Hall of Fame. I would like to acknowledge his parents, Chuck and Karen, who in, uh, in 17 years of coaching at, at a few different levels, I would put them in the Parental Hall of Fame second to none. Tremendous, tremendous parents. They raised three great children. We, we as coaches, and there's so many of us here tonight, uh, it's all about recruiting at first and then teaching and mentoring great athletes. And not many times in a recruiting process do you know you have somebody special. Every now and then that person you have to have and, and he becomes such a difference maker. That was Alan Bennis uh, for Jim Hendry back in 1989-90 and, and as Karen and Chuck and I joke over the years, it was the only time in my life that I started with an offer of 50% scholarship and went to a high school football game in Libertyville, Illinois and by the end of the game he had 80% baseball scholarship. <laughs> I, I knew I had the right guy by halftime and uh, that night over a couple of beers with Chuck and promising his mother that I would take Alan to the Lutheran Church. <laughs> I still don't know where that church is. <laughs> but you know what was great? Alan knew I didn't know and it didn't matter to him. <laughs> but uh, I knew that night that, uh, that he was going to be a key part. Um, Todd Winberg was our pitching coach and actually it had such to do with Alan becoming a quality pitcher here. We knew at, in the spring of 89 with five great freshmen on the team and, and then in 90 we knew when we went to the regional in Austin that we had a chance to do something different. We needed a couple of the freshman pitchers to come through and team up with, with Mike Heathcott who was, was a 15 game winner in the 91 team and Alan Bennis became that guy that was the key to the club. We had the best hitting, hitting team in America, second to none. That's well documented, well established in, but we needed somebody else to pitch and put a lot of burden on this young man as a freshman. And I, I'm here to tell you that 20 years later and all the great things that have happened to all of us because of that team, that would not have happened without that freshman from Lake Forest, Illinois pitching uh, for the 1991 Creighton Blue Jays as the number two starter behind Mike Heathcott. Um, he obviously went on to, to a great college career here, became the fourth consecutive first round pick uh, in a row at Creighton University, and I would have had a tremendous all-star caliber career with the Cardinals if he hadn't been, uh, you know, hurt so badly. His shoulder was devastated and never quite could obtain the all-star career that he was on his way to after a tremendous first two years. But it is with great honor and pleasure that I stand here before you as the person that was fortunate enough to bring Alan Bennis to Creighton University and induct him tonight into the Creighton Hall of Fame.
what I've what I've thought of while sitting here was something that was uh, brought to my attention early in this process is that we were supposed to stick to the five minute uh, rule, and I think everybody's going over it, but I'm, I'm going to be the first one to come in on it. Because I'm going to stay short. Uh, I'm not, uh, I too haven't been in front of crowds for a while, and uh, so we'll stay brief. But a uh, couple things. Um, this is a wonderful university. It, it really, really is. And uh, I was I was speaking earlier with, with Coach Service, and what came to my attention was that I went on a recruiting trip, and, and Coach Hendry mentioned the, the, all the time he spent in our, our living room, and it was a lot. Uh, <laughs> and then one night in particular, he was there, I mean, it must have been five or six hours. I was home. He knew something was up. I left. I went to some friends. I came home. He was still there. <laughs> and, and, uh, what had happened is I had I'd come on the recruiting trip to Creighton. I really enjoyed it. And uh, there are a lot of good players here, a lot of good teammates, and I had a great time. Well, a few weeks later, I had a, a trip scheduled to the University of Iowa. And I was going to cancel it, and then I ended up saying, you know what, I might as well go, it's a good experience, and we'll just go and see how it, how it is. And I went out there, and the amount of money and facilities that they had was overwhelming. And, you know, it, it started to kind of make me think. And so when Coach Hendry came back in, he knew something was up, and I was nervous. And uh, so, and he sensed that. And so <clears throat> what happened, you know, he stuck it out, and... You know, what happened with me personally was it just got down to what I truly thought was the best situation for me to be in, and that was Creighton University. Uh, the people, uh, the teammates that were here at the time that I had met on the recruiting trip, the, the environment, the city itself, um, really, in the end, won out. And, I am, am truly happy that I made the correct decision uh, years ago, and uh, I'm truly honored to be in this situation that I am now. And, and so many people, uh, you know, had a part in that. Um, you know, from from all the folks sitting up here, uh, Coach Hendry, if he if he wasn't as diligent as he he was years ago to to really pursue me when. Um, I didn't necessarily feel that I was, you know, that worthy at the time, um, but he saw something in me, and, and uh, I, I appreciate it. Uh, Coach Winberg, uh, the time that he told me that, you know, I could tuck my head between my legs like a little puppy dog, or I could stand up and fight, you know, uh, which I didn't really appreciate. <laughs> you know, there, there was a there was a, a funny story about Winberg, and I have to take the expletives out of it to keep it clean, but it, we were at, I, it might have been K-State, it, it was some big non-conference game, and I was in a tight situation in my, my first year, and he came out to the mound and he said, uh, he said, you know what, you, you're going to have to just make a pitch here and get it done. You're going to have to do it. Find a way. And he turned around and walked off. And so I told the rubber, and I, I threw one more pitch, and the guy whacked it down in the corner and cleared the bases. And, and he was on his way out before the guy even reached third. <laughs> All he said to me was, give me the dang ball and, and, in more colorful language and get the hell out of here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Coach Hendry, he said that I had to perform as a freshman, and that year in itself was was where I became the ball player that I ended up being. And it was because of the coaching that I received, uh, not only from those guys, but from the teammates. He mentioned a lot of the teammates that we have, and I know some of them are here. A few of the guys that helped our GPA, and a few of the guys that might have brought our GPA down. <laughs> uh, but the teammates were very instrumental. I, I learned a lot as a young player from from the other teammates, and I know that all the kids out here would say the same thing. Uh, you know, the athletics, somebody mentioned something about all the support from the other athletes at Creighton. 
I remember going to soccer games. I remember going to basketball games. Uh, you know, that, that was such a great experience. And, and really enjoy your time while you're here. Uh, because these are the years that you'll really remember uh, when you get into your late 30s and, your, and, and as you age. Uh, you'll really truly remember these times as being some of the most special of your life. And, and the friends you made and the friends you always have. Um, and I'll finish by saying, uh, once again, it's such an honor to, to be recognized, and, and I appreciate everything that uh, this uh, university has, has done for me. Thank you.